Capricorn, hey, welcome to Awaken Blue Heart Tarot. My name is Danielle. We're going to go ahead and get started with your August reading. This is going to be from August the 12th up until August the 31st. All right, I pre shuffle, so you should be good to go. Cut the deck here. Hope you guys have been doing good. All right, let's see what's going on, Capricorn. All right, general reading for Capricorn. Okay, so some of you guys off the off bat feel like there's not going to be a new beginning with someone. Dang, okay. What's going on, Capricorn? But you're fearful. You're worried about it. You're frustrated. Some of you guys are up late at night just thinking about this. What is going on? Okay, some of you guys, there was a breakup in a situation. Maybe you broke up with someone or someone broke up with you. And that's why you're worried. You're sad about this. But yeah, it's like... You had to make a decision or somebody had to make a decision here. But yeah, you guys feel like maybe you were stabbed in the back or maybe you stabbed this person in the back. What is going on, Capricorn? <sighs> yeah, it looks like you guys are feeling like something's been lost here. But there were some seeds that you wanted to grow with this person. So maybe the other person was the one being deceptive here. Yeah, you saw yourself being with this person. Oh my God, yeah, you saw, this person gave you balance. Like you, you were happy with this person, but you're in some type of mental conflict about what just transpired. If it didn't take place just yet, um, it may come up. But yeah, you guys feel like something's been lost here. Yeah, you guys are definitely frustrated. You planted some seeds with this person, it's like, they betrayed your trust is what it's looking like here so far but you're still you don't want to walk away from this person or this person doesn't want to walk away from you capricorn tell me more what is going on okay hold on one second okay so with the four swords in reverse and the nine of pentacles it's telling me that you guys are coming out of feeling like something you know you're you're not worrying about it anymore you're trying your best not to think about it you're trying your best to have peace of mind about the situation but you're still undecided about what to do because you really want to work this out with this person but it's like they stabbed you in your heart like you're like no look yeah you're at a crossroads you have to make a decision you don't know if you want to work out with this person or if you should just leave them alone but with the moon here some of you guys could be dealing with a pisces but it looks like the truth came out or it's getting ready to come out yeah definitely three-party situation here some of you guys could have found out about the truth is definitely coming to the light here but yeah, it's like you guys now have the confidence to do something. Tell me about the Knight of Cups in reverse. Queen of Swords. Hmm. Some of you guys could have been dealing with an air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. I have a Cancer here. Okay, so some of you guys could be coming off really cold and harsh to this person. And you feel like they're coming off really cold and harsh to you. But you're definitely not moving forward with this person. You are not moving forward with this person right now. Maybe they're not moving forward with you. But somebody in this situation wants things to improve. Tell me more. Yeah, it's like you guys felt cheated. Somebody wasn't giving you an equal partnership, a give and take relationship here. But after doing some deliberating, after doing some thinking, it's like you guys are getting stronger about, you know, what's happening here. And you want stability. You want stability in this situation. Some of you guys could have been dealing with an Aries here. But because of what you found out, this truth that came out, it's like you're not happy. You are not happy about it. You were like really looking at this person. I think you saw yourself being with this person. You had a happy home with this person. Like this person was your world and you feel like they just betrayed your trust because now at this point with that situation going on, you feel like there's not going to be a new beginning. There's not going to be a new opportunity with this person with the world in reverse. But yeah, it's like right now you don't see yourself um, starting over. You don't see yourself building with this person. Oh my God. Look, yep. You don't see a commitment anymore. Oh my gosh. Could have been a, some of y'all could have been dealing with the Taurus. Why am I getting tongue tied? King of Swords in reverse. You're not cutting it off though. Somebody's not cutting it off. Yeah, because it looks like there's an offer that somebody wants to give. Or somebody gave an offer, but it was turned down. It's like now someone doesn't have the strength to deal with it. 
deal with this situation, deal with the person. Could be a Leo involved here. But yeah, somebody wants to deliver a message. Somebody has something that they want to say. What is it? Somebody, oh wow. Okay, somebody wants to bring balance into this situation. Somebody is ready to work on the situation here with the temperance car and the eight of pentacles. Um, that is a Sagittarius with the temperance here. But somebody is like, I, I, I don't know if I want to do that. Like, you know, you, I feel, I'm starting to feel like this is not the first time this has happened, guys, for some of you. But it's like, this person is just not making you happy. They are not, you know, bringing contentment into your life here. Like, you're just, you're over it. I feel it. Oh, my God. Yeah, but again, there is an offer coming in. An offer that this person wants to make to you or you want to make to them, but you feel like this person needs to clean up their act. You're tired of going through the same old, same old with them. Oh my God. Sorry, guys. This just came out. Some of you guys could be dealing with another earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, if not, oh my God, guys, the king and the queen just came out. Of pentacles okay so some of you guys are dealing with another earth sign or just if not both of you guys are embodying the king and queen but this is the thing you see how their backs are turned towards each other you guys are not seeing eye to eye you are got you guys are not on the same page somebody is like focusing on materialistic things they're focusing on themselves this person wants to give the person the other person the world okay like if they were like this they would be in sync. You see how it's like he's looking at her? Like, yeah, it's like, oh my God, I love you, but you guys aren't on the same page right now at all. Your back's a turn. It's like you're tired. If you are embodying the king of pentacles, regardless if you are a male or a female, it's like you're tired of dealing with this. It's like you're, you're, you're turning your back on this person because it's like they're not giving you what it is that you're looking for. Um, you feel like this person was a player. This could be two men involved in this situation. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or there's another person involved. Tell me about the King of Wands, please. Yeah, you guys found out about something, and you're feeling like things are not improving. Yeah, you're tired because you've been carrying the burden of this relationship. Like, you've been putting in all the work, and the other person is just not doing anything. And so guess what? You are moving on. You're like, I'm tired. Y'all energy is crazy because I'm just, I'm getting hot all of a sudden. Oh, my God. Yeah, this person had other options. Or it's like you didn't like the option that you were seeing with this person here, but you're not using your intuition. So Capricorn, it's like, you know what you need to do, but it's like, you're not listening to your gut here. Okay. But you're trying your best not to look back at the past, but yeah, somebody was dealing with somebody from their past, or you could be dealing with someone from your past here, but it was definitely a three party situation that some of you guys found out about. Yeah, somebody wants to tell you something, maybe tell you about the three-party situation, maybe open up because they don't want you to go anywhere. Um, Queen of Cups in reverse. Some of you guys could be dealing with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or somebody is very emotional about this, but they're just not opening up. Like, they're not communicating at all. But they're saying, don't you be a fool. Do not be a fool. Like, pay attention. Where's, listen, hold on. That's, pay attention. Remember, I just told you guys, with the high priestess in reverse, some of you guys are not using your intuition. Do not be a fool, okay? At all. If there's somebody's not treating you right, you got to keep it moving. But it's like, you're not taking a leap towards this person, but you're weighing up some options. Like, you don't know if you want to stay or go, but at the end of the day, you know you were left out in the cold by this person. You know this person is not treating you right. It's like, Capricorn, you deserve so much better. But something's going to move fast for you guys. What's coming in for Capricorn? Some of you guys are staying with this person for financial reasons here. Somebody's codependent to the other one. But yeah, somebody's feeling like maybe their money is not improving or the situation with this person is just not improving. Yeah. Capricorn, this is you with the devil here. That is your card. But with it being in reverse, I'm actually glad to, to see that because it's telling me that you're walking away from this person. You're walking away from this toxic situation. But you might be doing so quietly because you're not telling this person your moves. You're not you're not opening up. You're not telling them what you're planning, what you're about to do. It's just like, hmm, okay, you did me dirty. All right, got something for you. I'm out. You're being hopeful about it. You're you're being hopeful about the situation, just moving forward, trying to stay positive. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius here. Yeah, because it's like with you moving on, moving forward, it's like, yeah, there's a victory coming your way. 
Capricorn? What I just said, there's a new beginning coming your way just by you walking away from this toxic person. I feel like this person was taken from you guys financially too. Um, but you're still frustrated. It's like you guys really love this person, but you're just not opening up. Yeah, you wanted love to come in fast with this person. Or they're saying because you walked away for some of you guys, love is coming in fast because somebody is coming in to offer you the Ace of Cups. Somebody is coming in to offer you emotional security. They're, I mean, oh my God, they're giving you everything. Emotional security, financial security, like they are there for you. It's like this cup is overflowing. I just, I'm, my eyes are just fixated on the hand. Like it's like a gift. Somebody is coming. I think your angels have seen enough, like, but you got to let go of this person because guess what? When you let go of this person, if you guys are worried about money, you do have money coming in. And uh, this person that could be come, trying to come into your life is going to bring you balance as well. Yeah, it could be a Scorpio that you guys are dealing with. But um, if not, it's just saying that, again, this situation needs to come to an end so that something new can begin. Okay. Queen of Wands here. Some of you guys need to remain positive um, about the situation. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Uh, if there's somebody that you trust, um, you can, you know, talk to them. Get some advice if you need some help, you know, because what the Hermit here is asking you to do some soul searching. But with the Hermit, that means that there was a lesson that you were supposed to learn with this, okay? Could be dealing with a Virgo. I did say two Earth signs in the beginning. With the magician here, it's like you guys are trying to manifest something into your life. You're trying to remain positive um, about this situation. Okay, but you realizing that things are not turning around. It's like the same old, same old. Okay, but King of Cups is in reverse here. Um, again, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or you could just be embodying the King of Cups. It's like you're emotional but you're not expressing your emotions but you're realizing that there is an imbalance in this love situation here some of you guys could be dealing with a gemini okay we got a libra here as well but if not justice it's like justice is served here some of you guys are still looking for the truth maybe it's like because this person is not telling you what's going on it's like you you feel like you can't get closure because and you can't move on because you don't have the truth and it is frustrating you that you don't even know why they did it who they did it with if that is the case it's like you know you won't move on but guys you you're gonna be coming out of conflict okay if you're arguing with this person it's gonna stop but yeah, something you've been hoping and wishing for, you feel like it's not going to happen. And that's why this tower moment happened. It's like, you know, your angels are trying to step in, trying to assist because you were staying in this situation too long. Like you can't build something solid when it's shaky. If somebody's sitting here lying, being deceitful, you're going to have a tower moment. Okay. All right, Capricorn. Well, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Please like, share, comment, and or subscribe. Let me know what you think. Hope you guys have a good day. Talk to you soon.